Hello, in this video I want to show you how the Heckland Koch P7 looks inside and I will show you how to disassemble the firing pin and how it works. To disassemble the firing pin you have to push the safety until the firing pin is on the same height as the slide then you use your thumb or a, or a tool, push on this plate and turn it 90 degrees to the right side. And when you have turned it, just push the safety back and the firing pin comes out. Then you can clean the firing pin and when you put it in look at the position. This part should be in 3 o'clock. There is a groove inside so you can only mount it the right way. Let it in and then turn with the thumb 90 degrees to the left and the firing pin is assembled again. To disassemble the pistol press this button here, pull the slide a bit back, let it go up and then it will come out on the front. You have the spring, here you see the gas piston and the cylinder is inside here. It is a, a hole. There is a hole in the barrel. It is here. And from this hole the gas goes in the cylinder, which is under the barrel, and the piston from the slide goes in here. And this is the lock of the Heckland Koch P7. When the bullet has left the barrel, the gas can go out here and the slide can move back. To remove the grips, You have to remove the screw here. And push the grip on the front a bit up and then push it forward. Because there is a groove here on the grip which is with the metal here and you have to push it forward then it will come out. Here we see the mechanic inside the pistol. When we pull the safety back, this part moves back and takes the firing pin which is in the slide. It is this part here. I hope you see it on the camera. This little part here. And when you move this, the firing pin goes back and is ready to fire. And when you pull the trigger, this part goes down and releases the firing pin and the firing pin will fire the round. If you just pull the trigger, you see that there will happen nothing, there's nothing happen. And when you just pull this part, the pistol is ready to fire and then 
with the trigger pull firing pin is released. If you push both parts together it goes back and down. You can also pull the trigger and then the safety and it will also go back and down. So for the Heckland Koch it is very necessary that you know how the pistol works because otherwise it could cause big accidents if you don't know that it will shoot in all combinations. If you pull these two parts the pistol will shoot. If you pull just this part the pistol won't shoot. Or just the trigger the pistol won't shoot. On the other side is also the same thing with removing of the grip, loosen the screw, take the screw out, get the grip a bit up on the front and then push it forward. grip will come out. Also the same groove here and this here on the metal. An empty magazine inside the pistol holds this part up. Here we have the magazine release. When I release the magazine this part goes down. When I put in the empty magazine this part goes up. And when I now Pull the grip safety. You see that this part moves a bit and the slide will come forward because of this movement. Just to get the whole thing. I will show you that this part will stay down with the loaded magazine. Let's take a look inside the barrel before we put the gun together again. You see the small grooves on the chamber and when the round is fired there is also gas inside these grooves and these grooves pull out the cartridge with the pressure of the gas so the extractor on the slide wouldn't be necessary with this pistol. The hole for the gas is in the middle it is here. Hope you see it. Well, it's very hard to get with the camera. But if you disassemble your own pistol, you will see it definitely. Now let's put the pistol together again. Take the grip. Go in on the back first with the groove. Tighten the screw. Same thing on the other side. Go in with the screw from the back first. Tighten the screw. I put some oil on the barrel because I didn't do this before.
was a bit too much. This should be enough. Then the spring. Then we take the slide, go in with the piston, pull the slide back and the piston is assembled again. See the function. And you see it works. So that was my inside the Heckline Koch P7 video. If you liked the video, please rate it. If you don't like it, just don't uh, rate it, but also leave a comment so that my next videos can get better and I will see why you don't like it. Liked it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye bye.